Hi everyone, meteorologist Taylor Knust here with your weather forecast. It has been a fantastic weekend here, especially for this time of the year, and we'll probably keep that rolling for at least one more day. Overnight tonight, forecast lows in the 40s for most of us, which is warmer than average for this time of the year. 47 in Des Moines, 42 in Ames, down to 41 in Fort Dodge tonight. Here's your Monday forecast. We'll start off with sunshine and then increasing cloud cover throughout the day, but even by late afternoon, we'll have at least some peaks of sun out there. That should allow us to get back to the 60s on Monday afternoon. So yeah, yeah, a few degrees cooler than it was on Saturday and Sunday, but still not bad. 64 in Des Moines, 66 in Grinnell, 63 in Ames, and 67 on Monday in Ottumwa. We do trend cooler day by day this upcoming week, down to the upper 50s in most spots by Tuesday, and then mainly mid 50s as we head toward Wednesday. Again, first few days of this upcoming week, not too bad for the early part of November. We will get that fall chill to return by the end of the week. So here's what's going to happen to start the week. A dry cold front is going to actually roll through Iowa late tonight through the day on Monday. Okay. Not going to bring us any precipitation. That front will stall out in Missouri Tuesday through Tuesday night and then comes back as a warm front on Wednesday. A low pressure is going to, going to develop right over Iowa on Wednesday and gives us a good chance at rainfall Wednesday afternoon through Wednesday night. So that's our next good chance at rainfall. Again, we'll stay dry tonight. Increasing clouds during the day on Monday. A mostly cloudy Monday night through Tuesday and some spotty rain showers will be possible during that time as well. Nothing substantial expected Monday night through Tuesday. After a dry Tuesday night and probably dry Wednesday morning. We will see a good chance for rainfall that will move in from the south and west Wednesday afternoon through Wednesday night. It might even produce a couple of thunderstorms out there, but uh, it's unlikely that we will see any severe weather as that front moves on through. So best chance for precip will be Wednesday afternoon through Wednesday night. We'll likely dry back out on Thursday and then on Friday there is actually a 20% chance for some light snow showers. The best chance for that to happen will be in the northern part of the state. We'll know more about that as we get closer to it on Friday. Uh, obviously, as we take a look at the whole plumbing and heating 10 day forecast, a cooling trend as we head toward the second half of this week, a high of 50 on Veterans Day down to 40 on Friday, staying chilly through this upcoming weekend.